Okay, so um, welcome to another video. So this is your favorite body with three body in the whole of the internet and cryptocurrency space at large. So I'm here with a new video. This video is not actually going to be long. It's actually an update from what I saw just scrolling through Twitter today. So today I'm going to be talking about Orbita Finance. If you have been in this space for a while and you have actually been doing a lot of edge of tax, then you actually know what Orbital Finance is. It's basically a bridge, you know, that bridges from sometimes Ethereum, that's the main net, to L2s like Arbitrum, Optimism, Manta, and the rest. You can also bridge from other chains like Binance Smart Chain and the rest. You, know, you, you, you get what I'm saying? So, this is something that they actually put up on their Twitter page. I'm going to share it in a while. And let's just get into the video because it's kind of important. So before I actually do this, if you like stuff like this, please don't forget to give us a like on this video. And also, if you are watching our content and you get value, please don't forget to give us a subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Thank you. So I was going to Twitter today and I found out that Orbital Finance posted that. Um, let me just read it. Let me read it. So they posted this today. Um, they posted a lot of things. Then there's a part, there's a section tagged token launch. So it says, in appreciation of our devoted community, we are thrilled to confirm the launch of our native token this year. We will gladly unveil the tokenomics and distribution plan, ensuring a fair process. The zero points program will play, sorry, the O points program will play a crucial role in shipping our airdrop rules. Stay tuned for exciting rewards and opportunities. So they just confirmed that they're actually going to be rewarding everybody that have been using their bridge. A lot of people on crypto Twitter are actually angry. Some of them are like, why are you using the open system now when a lot of people have actually been using your bridge for a long time, even from like 2023, early 2023. So I don't know if they would do better by probably in, including the people that have been doing stuff in early 23 but it's still a win-win to understand that okay they said they will give an airdrop and it's fine to just go grind it out so me i usually use the bridge from time to time when i'm swapping from l2 to l2 or probably from ethereum to other chains and i just found out that okay i have some O points already i have like 65 doesn't mean it's enough doesn't mean i won't keep farming this but what it just shows is that it's not just about the airdrop. Some people think it's about the airdrop. It's not always about the airdrop. It is actually about you, you know, moving through the blockchain, understanding how it works, you know, making your wallets like not just eligible for airdrops, but giving your wallet your wallet your, your wallet a map, you know, like mapping it to different chains, doing different things, interacting on different places, like understanding what this blockchain is. You know, like people hear about blockchain and they think it's all magical or something. It's not. The more you actually interact with these things, the better you are at it. And I've said this in the video, there's always a possibility. You may not actually know that you are actually farming or you may hit a pot of gold in these guys. I, I never expected that one day of better finance. Naturally, I've never I've seen a bridge do an airdrop before, but they have said they want to do an airdrop coming in 2024. So you should pay attention to that because Orbital Finance is actually a big bridge in crypto to in, in crypto actually. And I feel like they will have a lot of backers and a lot of people actually use this. So it could be pretty something. So if you want to farm this, it's not hard. Um, as you can see here, my wallet is connected. That's actually the first thing you do when you come to a decentralized application. And then you can see it says from Ethereum to Optimism. You know, you select the amount and you swap. I don't have funds here right now, so I'm not making any swaps. As you can see, I already have points. And this is what I believe is going to be the major criteria for the airdrop, according to what they said on the Twitter page. So, um, you can see a lot of change here. You can see base, linear, ZK Sync, Arbitrum, Starknet. Basically, all the chains that you'll be farming that actually could give you a potential airdrop. So, if you want to bridge to them, if you want to move from here to here, um, you can tag them bridging like teleporting. If you have watched all these sci fi movies where you want to teleport from this place to this place, you know, that's what it bridges for. 
So anyway, I hope you understand this. I, I don't know if you want me to do an in-depth, but like I said, it's not actually really that hard. Like, all you just need to do is tag, select the chain you want to go from and select the chain below where you want to go to. So let's say I want to go from Ethereum Minute to Optimism, which you know that is going to be kind of expensive because Ethereum gas fees are always costly. If you are actually going from things like, let's say, Arbitrum to Optimism, then it's not going to be that costly because both chains actually are not that expensive. So you get ejected. So anyway, if you like stuff like this, please, once again, don't forget to give us a like and also if you get values from the videos we drop on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and see you guys in the next one.